Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I have a special tag video for you guys. It is called the 10 Lux Facts About Me. It was created by the beautiful Natalie here on YouTube. She's also a fellow Canadian. Her channel name is My Daily Sweet, so I'll link down below her video so you guys can check her out. Uh, so basically, she created this tag and it's kind of like I guess a getting to know me tag, uh, 10 sort of random facts about me but with a luxury or um, designer twist if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do my best to do this tag because it was actually pretty hard but I think I pulled it off. I'm a first generation Canadian. I was born in Montreal, which is on the eastern side of Canada. Montreal is in Quebec, which is a French province, and that is also the reason why I speak three languages fluently. I speak Cantonese, it is my first language. French, because that's my second language and the uh, language that I learned first in school. In fact, I only spoke French until I was around 17, that's when I started learning English uh, properly <laughs> uh, because I pursued my post-secondary education in English and that is why I speak three languages. Having grown up in Montreal really allowed me to observe a lot of uh, diverse people's fashion sense and how they dress and things like that. I, I think I personally think that people in Montreal dress super well. Everyone is very different and there is so many different boutiques that are available in Montreal to shop at. I absolutely miss shopping in Montreal. It's so amazing. Rue Quet Saint Catherine is like my favorite, but there, of course there's also uh, Boulevard saint laurent all these other little small places that you can shop at. But regardless, uh, got, growing up in Montreal really allowed me to just have my eyes open and in terms of like uh, fashion, I was just able to just see so many diverse people dress different ways and it was amazing. I just love dressing up, I love dressing down, I just love fashion in general. I love buying clothes, like if you were in my bedroom, you would know how much clothes I have. Um, but it was very different when I grew up. Growing up uh, in my childhood was quite difficult. A lot of times we were so poor that we didn't have proper dinner food. And because of that reason, I actually didn't grow up with a lot of clothes. In fact, uh, most of my clothes were just hand-me-downs from friends and some families and uh, I remember until I started my making my own money I basically wore like baggy t-shirts that didn't fit me jeans that were like you know didn't fit me and all that and I know it was just high school but still uh, I remember there was always like a group of cool people that always dresses so well and I'm the other one who's like looking so like out of place I suppose it didn't matter it was just high school but you know it wasn't always the same I was always very excited whenever my parents are able to buy me brand new clothing or they have to buy me brand new clothing because you know we have very harsh winters and such and sometimes you just need a different jacket or a brand new jacket that will keep you warm so whenever that happened I always picked red I always 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 picked red whenever i was asked whenever i was given a choice it's like yes red red top red jeans red whatever red coat red jacket everything was red and my mom was always like red again <laughs> having grown up with parents that are immigrants and are pretty traditional i sort of always had an identity crisis because um, obviously I was born and raised in Canada but when I'm at home and that is a lot of the times it's everything was in Chinese my food was Chinese uh, you know all the beliefs culture beliefs and all that is, is in Chinese and we spoke Chinese at home at all times and because of that reason also I'm kind of superstitious with numbers uh, I'm sure you can relate if you're Asian. Number eight is always the prosperous number. It's the number that represents prosperity and abundance. And so whenever anything in my life has number eights in it, I'm super happy. Uh, but as long as there's not a lot of fours or it's not uh, preceded by number five because five negates eight. And um, 
yeah so it's it's kind of funny like whenever i buy say a brand new chanel bag if the serial number has lots of eights in it i'm like super happy or my driver's license or my phone number like, that was definitely an influence from my chinese side i'm sure some of you can probably relate if you are in a similar position as me where you kind of can identify with both cultures but not in its entirety so it's a lot of times it's very challenging and it's like you almost feel like you don't really belong in either group. I started working at a pretty young age, unofficially at 12 for, you know, picking strawberries during the summer and things like that. Uh, and 14 more officially with jobs such as McDonald's, Burger King. I worked at Tiki Ming in the Cathedrale in Montreal. If you guys are from Montreal, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I worked at the bank, I worked at Winners, so many different jobs when I was a teenager just so that I can earn some money and buy things that I like other than food. Um, so uh, when I started making my own money and had a little bit of savings because obviously I was a very good saver as well and I worked very hard for my money even though it was just like, you know, I think my best summer I made like five thousand dollars i think yeah the best summer months i made five thousand dollars because i worked so many jobs but anyway i digress uh, so after i started making money i was able to buy my own clothes and so i uh, remember when i said that my favorite color was red when i was um you know more little well in high school i was so adventurous i would buy every color of the rainbow and i would like have yellow pants and a multicolored top i would buy all kinds of different dresses different pants i would have like white super huge um wide leg pants and things like that because that was the trend back then as well and it was amazing my wardrobe was so colorful and now if you see me i'm mostly in neutrals mostly black and it's a lot more boring compared to before my progression into handbags and of course eventually to luxury goods was very very organic and took a lot of years obviously so it was not until i graduated from university that i started buying you know nicer handbags and by nice i meant like um, leather handbags in general, uh, coach handbags eventually, and then I remember that my most expensive coach bag was 500 US dollars because I did buy it in New York City and it was like this big hobo uh, and it was all patent leather actually. It was a very slouchy hobo. If I can find a picture, I'll try to insert it, but it was so great. I love that hobo so much. I wore it so much. It's all worn down and the the patent leather has all cracked everywhere around the zipper already but i love that bag so much and so when i started you know buying nicer handbags and when you know people notice that they're nice but they don't know how much they were and then so whenever they would ask and i have no problems telling and they would find out that it's like 200 or 500 and they would be like oh my gosh i can't believe that you spend that kind of money on bags i work in the it industry and I don't want to say all but a lot of people in the industry really don't care about fashion uh, much less luxury so uh, to them that amount of money on a bag is a lot and in fact I was always considered the most well-dressed and people just you know like people are very very casual at work this also applies to my family. Um, so before I got married on my side of family, uh, even until today, I don't think anyone else really owns any LV or Chanel or uh, any kind of luxury brand items like that. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one and I guess I'm pretty special. I think because of my childhood and the way I grew up and just um, having to be really frugal for many things for many years and just be very smart with money that I have this mentality that if I'm gonna buy a luxury item somehow I feel that buying bags is more worth it than buying SLGs and I still kind of do this even today even though I don't really have to do this anymore it's good it's just kind of strange how it still sticks with me this kind of mentality and this kind of like 
sort of uh, behavior <laughs> but I still do that I still prefer buying bags over SLGs I feel like bags are more worth the investment even though I buy bags to use not to invest so it's kind of funny <laughs> It is precisely because of that mentality that I bought my very first LV item, which is a bag. It's the Alma PM. And my very first Chanel is also a bag. It was actually the reissue, which I had for only a short period and sold shortly after that because I felt so guilty. I bought those two bags in, well, respectively 2008 and 2010. I would say between 2010 and 14-ish that I didn't really acquire anything in between and the reason is because I was dealing with a lot of health issues if you guys follow my channel you would know that I have a chronic condition called lupus and um, yeah it was very challenging those were like my most challenging years ever and I hope that those are behind me um, you know I've learned to manage my health quite well now but it's, there's still lots of ups and downs but in general I'm a lot better than I was and yeah, that is also the reason why I kind of picked up the uh, luxury purchases and luxury hauls after that. It was basically when I started my channel in 2015 that I started, you know, picking back up my passion for luxury and passion for fashion, passion for life, passion for everything. After I acquire a, a, a luxe item, I would kind of just like store it for a while or just kind of sit on it for a while before using it and somehow that makes it better or more reasonable even though it makes no sense at all and I think it's because of my upbringing it's kind of like every time I buy something very expensive or very luxurious it really still shocks me up to this day it doesn't matter if it's an LCLG or, or an actual Chanel bag or whatnot um, it still shocks me and it, it still takes me time to sort of sink in and to like realize that you know I can use it. <laughs> Thank wow. you so much Natalie for tagging me. Uh, I know that this is a relatively new tag even though she tagged me quite a while ago uh, but I haven't seen a lot of people do it yet so I'm gonna try to tag a few ladies down below a few of my favorite ladies and hopefully you guys will have time to do it. I know it will take some time to write it down but it is definitely worth doing and I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel and would like to I would love 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 to have you and and uh, have a great day and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!